Okay, so speaking of not wearing pants or... I don't know where to go with that. not wearing <laughs> pants, we don't have a segue. I'm back in L.A. for a special West Coast edition of Breakfast with Bevan with none other than Taylor Swift. Sometimes when you're an international mega pop star, you just don't have time for breakfast. So we're going to do a quick speed round of questions in front of a live studio audience. It's going to be super exciting, and I'm going to get my Oprah on. Hello. Long time to see. Oh, to see How's you. Are you gonna Good try to minute. make me cry? Yeah, no, don't worry. <laughs> years and years ago, I was with Carly Kloss, and we were talking to Emma Stone, and they were like, "Do you know Taylor Swift? Let's go talk to her." And we walked over to you, and I was like, "Hi, I'm Andrew from Teen Vogue. Your cover's beautiful." And you're like, "Thanks." And I was like, "This is Emma Stone and Carly Kloss." Are you trying Kloss. to take credit for two of my best friendships? Maybe. I think that's what's happening. <laughs> I just got to the bottom of this. <laughs> I feel like we have a lot of friends in common. Really? Jack yeah. Antonoff and I were like texting last night. Amazing. And this is like... I was too. Really? Yeah. I was telling him about boy problems. So. Oh, you to, I can talk to you about that. I'm probably better. He's got you, really amazing philosophical relationships. Oh, advice. he totally does. For when you're in a relationship. I have really good advice for when you're having problems. Oh, right. See, like we have our special And the perfect teams. soundtrack. We're gonna talk about shoes in front of a lot of people. Totally. Yeah. Speaking of shoes, I need some help. You're kind of going for like a pastel Easter egg look. I couldn't I decide. I think this outfit you go with the cream white. Ooh. I'm just gonna uh, dive right in. I got just a lot. Go. Of, I was at the Taylor Swift Education Center Do you in learn Nashville. Lots of new things? I actually just took a picture in front of the sign. It's a nice sign. Thank you so much. <laughs> good font. I love a good font. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Remember when you were like a little kid and you just did not care how yeah. loudly you screamed? I know you love Audrey Hepburn. Every time you see a new Audrey Hepburn movie, you mean the one she's put out in like the last three years. No, the yeah. new ones. I'm not talking about Netflix. <laughs> I'm talking about like she only wore classic looks. The women in history who played a huge role in shaping my fashion have famously worn Kets. Like, did you wear Kets when you were a little girl? I had the white and I had the red ones in like a child's size. I should hope your feet weren't that big when you were a child. You but would. You would hope. <laughs> I don't look good in a trouser. Really? When anything that says okay. trousers. <laughs> Taylor or Swift avoid. Or yeah, or slacks. Okay. Maybe later on in life. Maybe the trouser, you'll have a trouser pit. I look good in a pant. Okay. I mean, I'm not saying I look good. I'm saying <laughs> it's it's decent. I look really good in pants. I look <laughs> like, good in pants too. As yes, well, you do. So. <laughs> Passing trends tend to be the things that you look back on and you go, whoa. I really did that, didn't I? Everybody's got some embarrassing photo. My high school pictures are like, it's tragic. My style forever was going to be cornrows. I took my school picture with the, the cornrows. It really thrust me into like understanding what it's like to not have anywhere to sit at the cafeteria. <laughs> like, what is the oldest thing in your closet that you still wear? I have old headbands. Like that's the only thing I keep around. I'll wear a headband at all. I'll go on Instagram and someone's like, she's had that headband for seven years. It's going really well. I know. I think it's going really well. This is riveting for yes. people, I think. I know, they love it. Do you have a favorite look that has stuck out, or do you just love all those gowns just the same? I got to wear this Oscar de la Renta gown to the Met Ball, and it was like ballet pink, and it had a bow in the back, had a long train. It was so classic and simple. That was, that's my it was new favorite. The, it was a princess moment. Yeah. Do you have a new style epiphany recently? I kind of am mixing 50s, 60s, a little bit of 80s, 90s. Is there an era that you would not touch, like Medieval Times, Taylor? <laughs> I actually went through that phase. That like happened. Red, red velvet? No, it was corsets. Hey, buddy. Stop. Do you have a question? I think so. No. Stop! No. I don't want it to happen! No! No! no. <laughs> don't stop it. Get off! Okay, there. He went away. Paparazzi in this town, they're crazy. That's... I took care of it. I shamed him away. You did. Tidal waves. Do you ever think about that? Um, not often, because I grew up in Colorado. They can but... get you anywhere. <laughs> and there's been. We're near a beach now. There could be a tidal wave. Stop it. Are you a good cook? Yes. You are. Oh, yeah. That's good. I like to chop up vegetables. <laughs> because Ina Garden taught me how to, ch to chop the vegetables. I'm bad at a lot of things, but I can definitely make food and then people eat it and then they like it. I'm really thinking about what I'm gonna eat. Neil, oh my but... God, me too. <laughs> I've already figured it out too, yeah. What is the world's biggest misconception of you? You know what that is. 
I do? Yeah. What? I'm dating everyone I go to lunch with, and I fall in love with everybody I date. <laughs> Are we dating? <laughs> you just wait. Okay. Tomorrow, you'll see. If you had to have one hashtag for the rest of your life, what would it be? What does the hashtag do, though? We could take a picture of a pizza and do hashtag pizza, and then we could look at everyone else's pictures of pizza. But what if they hashtagged cheese pizza? Is that a different category? Different category. Does capital letters make it a different hashtag? Like a, you're yelling it. So one time I hashtagged what is a hashtag and what does it do? Like, I don't understand. And, but I think I put spaces in it, so it was only like what? Right. Hashtag what? <laughs> Thank you so much, and thank you guys so much for coming out. I think you were awesome. I think we were both awesome. Hashtag awesome. Did he not thank do you. an amazing job? <laughs> the mint soup. <laughs> Even though Taylor doesn't really know how to use a hashtag, you do. Use it and let me know who you want me to have breakfast with next. And maybe there'll even be an omelet or two next time.